Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Run Free and Strong. I'm Rayto. In today's video, we're gonna take another look at GPS watch accuracy, specifically distance and pace. And we're gonna take a look at the Garmin Phoenix 5 Plus. In late September 2020, so about three months ago, we took a look at the Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro and created a video that has garnered close to 5,000 views and simulated a lot of conversation and comments and feedback. And so we thought it would make sense to do an update. And rather than take a second look at the Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro, we would take a look at the Garmin Phoenix 5 Plus. We will do a separate video to take a look at GPS accuracy for elevation gain and vert. We're back at Waveney Park in New Canaan, Connecticut to run a three mile loop course that is a relatively flat, runnable groomed trail. We're gonna run the loop twice. The first time we're gonna run using GPS tracking only. On the left wrist, I'm gonna wear the Garmin 235. On the right wrist, I'm gonna wear the Garmin Phoenix 5 Plus. And then we'll run a second loop and change the GPS tracking to include both GPS as well as GLONASS and see if that provides us with a different outcome. We are all teched out today on our left wrist. We're wearing the Garmin 400 235 and our right wrist, we're wearing the Garmin Phoenix 5 Sapphire and on the right foot, we're wearing the Stride foot pod. We're also wearing the latest Garmin Pro heart rate monitor chest strap. Let's get the run started and we'll catch back up when we're done. Hey guys, we're done with the two runs. So we'll go home, take a shower, download the data, and start analyzing it. And we'll be back with the second part of the video to share the results and our observations. So we're back home, we've analyzed the data, pretty interesting stuff. I'd like to share with you what we found. Let's start with the key assumptions and parameters of the testing that we did. We ran a three mile loop course in Waveney Park, New Canaan, Connecticut. The top of map shows the course. The green icon is a start. We ran clockwise one loop and then passed the start and ended where the red icon indicates stop. The three mile loop is a flat runnable groomed trail. It's a mix of groomed trails, grass fields, and some paved paths. About half is in woods, but given that it's January, the trees are barren and it's not a dense forest, and about 50% in open space. We ran a three mile course twice, first time with the GPS only tracking for both the Garmin 235 and a Phoenix 5 Plus, and the second time we ran it, we had on the combined GPS and GLONASS tracking for both watches. And we wore the Garmin 235 on a left wrist and the Garmin Phoenix 5 Plus on the right wrist. We're gonna look at a segment of the three mile course, comparing the Garmin 235 GPS tracking and the Garmin Phoenix 5 Plus GPS tracking. The colored line indicates the GPS track and in very faint gray dashed, we can see the actual trail on the top of map. It appears that the Garmin 235 generally tracks to the outside of the trail with GPS only tracking, whereas the Garmin Phoenix 5 Plus tracks to the inside of the trail. So it quote unquote would under measure the actual distance run. And that's been our general experience with the Phoenix 5 Plus is that it under measures and under reports the distance run. Garmin claims that the combination of GPS and GLONASS is supposed to be even more accurate than GPS tracking alone. What's interesting here is the data doesn't bear that out. This shows the combined GPS and GLONASS tracking turned on. At the top we can see again the Garmin 235 generally tracking to the outside of the actual trail on the top of the map. And the same with the Phoenix 5 Plus generally tracking to the inside. However, the distance or deviation from the actual trail appears to be greater once we turn on both GPS and GLONASS tracking. So we've looked at GPS accuracy for distance. Let's look at GPS accuracy for pace. So the top is an overlay of the pace from the Garmin 235, the Garmin Phoenix 5 Plus using GPS only tracking. Two general observations looking at the overlays, the Garmin 235 red line here is smoother, whereas the Garmin Phoenix 5 Plus blue line has a couple of very strong deviations from the line. And that's, if we look at the bottom of that, we've separated out the Garmin 235 and the Phoenix 5 Plus, so it's a little bit easier to see them side by side. 
and we've circled in red the very strong deviations in the five Phoenix Plus. What is very strange is that the deviation goes from an eight minute pace to a 12 minute pace on a Phoenix 5 Plus, which is a plus or minus four minute per mile range, which doesn't make sense. And that appears more than once. So it appears that the pace for the Garmin 235 is smoother and probably more reliable, more accurate than the Phoenix 5 Plus. We've done the same pace comparison, but this time with both GPS and GLONASS tracking turned on. And there are even stronger deviations in the Phoenix 5 Plus, indicated by the blue line. However, there are also some aberrations, if you will, in the Garmin 235, the red line. Not as pronounced, not as strong, but they are there. So we would be a little bit concerned about the accuracy of the combined GPS and GLONASS tracking for pace. Having looked at the pace comparison using both GPS only and GPS and GLONASS, it appears that the Garmin 235 is more accurate and more reliable data. However, we would advise not to rely on pace data from a GPS watch during the run. When we were running and wearing the 235 on the left wrist and the Phoenix 5 Plus on the right wrist, there were deviations ranging from 10 seconds per mile to as much as 40 seconds per mile between the two GPS watches at any given point in time. And probably makes more sense to look at heart rate data using a chest strap, which is more accurate than the optical on wrist array monitors, or using the stride foot pod or another foot pod that has power output as a proxy for our effort and intensity when we run. We hope this short update of GPS watch accuracy for distance and pace was useful. If you enjoyed the video, we would appreciate it if you gave it a big thumbs up. Hit that like button. Leave us a comment below if you have any questions or comments. Welcome to feedback. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, we'd appreciate if you hit the subscribe button as well to follow our journey. We'll be uploading content three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thanks very much for watching and see you in the next one.